My name is Nick Apson. I work pro bono for a company called Cygnus Atratus. Cygnus Atratus develops fuel cells and we have completed the research and development of a new type of fuel cell. What we're proposing is to do this, is to partner with individuals who wish to start their own companies. These companies we call collaborative manufacturing enterprises. In other words, we become a partner with the uh, founder or the people who operate the new company, the CME. The CME produces, uh, produces uh, the fuel cells, manufactures the fuel cells, and then the fuel cells produce electricity for the consumer. The consumer is also a partner and has a part of the company as well. So this is basically what is called a social enterprise. In other words, it's community-led and community-based community energy. The whole thing revolves around the transfer of the technology free of charge and the application of that technology for the common good in the community. It's very important that the company, the CME, or Collaborative Manufacturing Enterprise, doesn't find itself under financial obligations to others. This is important because most of the people who are looking to fund these kind of operations are predatory. In other words, they'd like to take over these companies. That's something that we would not allow. So, summary, it's a partnership between uh, the CME, or the Collaborative Manufacturing Enterprise, Cygnus Atratus, and the community. And that makes up the total value of the company. It's not to be used to raise uh, large amounts of money or sell companies off and make uh, a, have financial trading based on it. It's very simply a, a way of providing social good in a community by producing cheap electricity and providing employment. And that really is it. So basically, Cygnus Atratus designs the technology, the CME employs the technology, and the community uses, consumes, and shares a stake in the technology. The CME is basically uh, the recipient of technology that has been developed by Cygnus Atratus. It manufactures the fuel cells, produces electricity, which goes to the community. Um, the community participates by being able to have low-cost electricity and to also gain some benefit from this, the collaborative manufacturing enterprise. So how does the technology work? How can you help a community get off of coal or nuclear? The technology works by uh, producing electricity by using hydrogen and oxygen, which is in air. So it just uses air and hydrogen. The hydrogen is uh, produced by using waste. This is uh, organic waste to produce the hydrogen. The hydrogen is produced by two methods. One is anaerobic digestion. Put simply, that's bacteria eating the waste and then producing gas from this digestion. Hence the name anaerobic digester. And the anaerobic bit meaning that there's no air present. The second way of producing hydrogen is by, by gasification. That is superheating the waste so that the, mo the molecular structure of the waste disassociates itself. This way you get hydrogen and carbon monoxide. You remove the hydrogen by adding water. This produces more hydrogen and CO2. Because the CO2 is organic, it doesn't represent additional CO2 going into the air. It's what is called CO2 neutral. If, on the other hand, you store the CO2 and use it for agricultural applications, it then becomes negative CO uh, carbon. So, in other words, you're reducing the amount of carbon.